What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to work with the PHP ternary operator. Before we jump into the video, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon so whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. And as always, code snippets can be found on my website, pixelmerb.com. I'll leave a link to this written tutorial in the description area down below, so definitely check that out. But again, in this video, we're talking about the ternary operator and how to use it and what it's used for. Basically, PHP provides multiple ways to deal with decision making and how to control the flow of your program. One way to do that is with the if else statement, and in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to use that. But the ternary operator can be considered a compact version of an if else, but would typically take multiple lines to build up your code logic with an if else statement can be done in typically one or two lines with the ternary operator. As a quick example here in the pseudocode we have the condition that's going to be evaluated the question mark and then to the right of the question mark the result if this condition is true and if it's not then we have the colon and the result for false. Then I have some code snippets over here that you can easily copy and use in your code editor. One of the best ways to learn how to code is not only to watch the video to tutorials, but to take the code snippets you find and then use them within your process of learning. Then you can refactor them, you can play around with the code, and you can try to make it do something different or see if you can get a more efficient or optimized way to get your code to work. All right, so here we have our first example. I'm just going to copy this snippet of code right here. I'm going to go to my code editor. For these tutorials, I'm still using VS Code. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my terminal. As you can see, I'm in the root folder of my PHP project. And since I'm going to be demonstrating this in the terminal, we don't actually have to start XAMPP or RAMP or MAMP or whatever program you're using. If you want to see how to use PHP in the command line, I do have a video about that as well. So definitely check that one out. All right, so what I'm going to do here is in the terminal, I'm going to type out touch and then a space and then I'll name the file ternary.php. So what this is doing is just a very quick way to create the file in the terminal and it'll show up within your project folder. So I'll hit enter and now you see over here we have ternary.php. As I showed you in a previous video, there's multiple ways for you to open up a file in your code editor. The obvious way would be just to click on the file itself. Very basic. In code editors, you could also use some keyboard shortcuts. But since I'm already in the terminal, what I'll do is since I'm on Windows, I'll type out start and then the name of the file which is ternary.php. And very quickly, if you're on a Mac or in Linux, you're gonna be using the open command instead of start. So it would be open space and then ternary.php. So I'll hit enter. And now you see in my editor, it opened up the file. So now I'll just put in my opening PHP tag. And I'm gonna paste in what we copied from my website. I'm gonna close the sidebar here. Let me save this. All right, so you see on line three, we create a variable called weather and we're assigning it the value of snowing. Now on line four, we're gonna use echo in conjunction with our ternary operator and we're gonna have weather, the variable, with the double equal sign. If its value is raining, that's the condition, then we're going to output after the question mark, it is raining outside. Now if the weather is not raining, then we're going to say it is snowing outside. So now I'm going to go to my terminal and then I'm going to type out PHP. I'll use tab completion. So we have PHP space and then ternary.php and then I'm going to hit enter. It processes the file and then we see it outputs it is snowing outside. So the condition is here. If this condition is true, then we output this. If it's false, then we output this. And we see the result down here. All right, that's pretty basic. Let's go back to my website and grab another example. Now, just to give you a comparison of the if else statement versus the ternary operator, let's copy this snippet of code here. Go back to our editor. I'm gonna go to a new line. I'll paste that in right there. I'm actually going to go over here as well and just put in a PHP constant for end of line. Now, since we're using this in the terminal, this will create a new line break for us. So I'm saving this. On line eight, we have if, and then inside the parentheses, we have our condition. If weather is equal to raining, 
and then we're going to echo out it is raining outside else we're going to echo out it is snowing outside let's go to the terminal and see the results hit the up arrow and you see we get the same results but the difference is with the ternary operator we only use two lines of code it's a little bit more compact with the if else we use five lines of code now if you're writing a lot of code if you're programming a lot then trust me reducing the amount of lines of code you actually type out is something you're going to want to do all right let's go back to my website and grab another example now real quickly the benefits of the ternary operator are uses less lines of code which we just saw you can do your conditional checks in line which will definitely come in handy and once you understand how to use it your code will be easier to maintain let me show you how to assign the result of the ternary operator into a variable. We'll just copy this here, go back to our editor, go here to our new line, paste that one in. I'll grab this PHP constant right there, paste it there. And so now what you see is on line 16, we're creating a new variable, which is going to be called current weather. And we're assigning it the value of the condition and result of the ternary operator and then we echo out current weather. Now, why would you do this? It depends if you want to store the value for later use, if you want to manipulate the value in some way, shape or form later on, you might want to do it this way. But let's see if we get the same results in our editor. Let's go down here into the terminal, hit the up arrow, and we get the same exact results. Okay, let's go back to the browser. Now this would be beneficial, let's say if you're creating your web document and you want to have a quick conditional check for the type of CSS you're going to be applying for whatever reason to a particular HTML tag. All right, so let's take a look. But basically what we're going to do here is we're going to create another variable and then we're going to echo it out on line two. Let's copy this here, come here and let's paste it in and then let's save it. All right, so actually let me just copy this and then paste it right there. All right, so what we're doing here is now we're gonna be creating another variable called color, and we're gonna assign this one the value of red. And this is going back to like, if you wanna have a conditional check for the type of CSS or whatever you're gonna use in an HTML tag. This is where using the ternary operator can be very beneficial. We have the color variable there, and then on the next line, we're gonna echo out, just for this demonstration, the first part of our string, your color is, and then we're gonna concatenate inside of the parentheses color if it's blue then we'll echo out blue if it's red then we'll echo out red let's go to the terminal hit the up arrow and it says your color is red now the reason why we're using parentheses here is because of the way PHP handles the concatenation operator and it goes into PEMDAS and the order of operations and things of that nature so if we don't use parentheses here let's see what the result is that we're gonna get now in the terminal hit up and as you can see, we output just the word red instead of your color is red. That's why we have to use the parentheses. Now, if we didn't want to use the parentheses, we could just replace the period or the concatenation operator with the comma, and that will make what's left of the comma and right of the comma into different arguments for the echo construct. So if we save that, go to the terminal, hit the up arrow, now you see we get your color is red. Let's go back to the browser and you can see I showed you and I walked you through what exactly happens in that case over here as well. And then refactoring it with the comma itself. So that's the PHP ternary operator in a nutshell. Take a look at the code, copy it, use it within your editor and get familiar with it. You're going to find that using it will make your code more readable, more compact and easier to maintain in the long run. Again, I'll leave a link to this written tutorial in the description area down below. So definitely check that out and as always thanks for watching this video if you have any thoughts comments or suggestions leave them down below don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon i'll catch you in the next one happy coding